Alhamdulillahilladhi anzala abdihi al-kitaba wa ahlam ya jallahu wa wajib akmaduhu subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ashkuruhu wa huwa ahli hamdu wa thana wa ashadu an la ilaha illa wa dahu la shalika lahu wa ashadu anna muhammadin abduhu usuhu wa mustafar alahumma salim wa salim ayla abdika wa rasulika muhammadin wa atahi wa sahbihi wa sallam Alhamdulillah bin alamin we thank Allah almighty and it's only Allah Almighty who deserves to be thanked. We look at the day the sun is up, Allah created the sun. Allah created the sky, the earth. Allah created the oxygen, Allah created the food. Allah created the vegetation that we look at and we in awe at it also. Allah created the vegetation uh, the vegetables and fruits that grow, that we eat, and supplies our body. But if you would ask an ant who created you, the ant would say, the Lord of Heavens. Allah has a surah, a surah uh, uh, in the Quran on the ant. But it's the human being that don't know that they were created by Allah Almighty. We're the only ones that don't know that we were created by Allah, that we are a creation. Because if we really, really believe that we were created by a creator, we would not have a problem. Our problems stem from the fact that we don't really believe we were created. We think that we are from our parents. Our origin is from our parents. And so based on that situation with our parents, whether that was a good situation or a bad situation, we only draw from that situation for our guidance for life. And so this is why people don't trust people. People don't believe people. People don't trust or believe themselves. You sit down with the average person and really talk to them and really listen to them. We really don't even have a clue about ourselves. We really don't. All we know is to get something, uh, so some money so we can eat, uh, get some money so we can get a car, get some money so we can have a house, uh, get some money so we can have some clothes. Uh, get some money so we can get a wife. Get some money so we can get a husband. Uh, get some money so we can have children. Get some money so we can buy food. Get some money so we can travel. The only kind of mentality we have. That mentality is in the mosque. It's in the churches. It's in the synagogues. It's in the temples. What's distinguishing that mentality from a mentality it's in the street where our youth are killing each other for what? They've lost all self-respect for themselves because they think that they are from a human beings. They were never taught that they were a creation. And when you say something about Allah Almighty or the Creator, they don't want to hear that. You know what they say? You're preaching to me. You're judging me. We have lost our wisdom. And so when we lose our wisdom, what Allah Almighty does is that he will send from among people servants that he raised to bring a be among us and go among humanity so we may have an understanding. Understanding is a treasure. We don't have any understanding. We just eat, sleep, and drink, put on clothes, and go with the fashion. We change our clothes and our minds. We never, our hearts are always blocked. We have four different thoughts. We have envy. We have pride. We 
we're stubborn and we're envious, angry. At what? Because there is a part, we are imprisoning a part, a power in us that Allah Almighty has put in us to serve us and to serve humanity. We don't understand. Understanding is a great power and a treasure. We don't understand because we don't listen. We don't obey. That's why we're the same old conversation. Yeah, I'm cool. You ain't cool. I'm maintaining. Maintaining what? Your situation, your mentality is not changing. Allah sent us here to return to Him. Allah didn't send us here not to return to Him. When we send our children to school, don't we expect them to return to us after they have learned what they need to learn to return to us? Allah didn't send us here to be lost. To return, and Allah says, well, why are you coming back and you don't know me? You promised me you were always going to be obedient servant to me. Now you're coming back, you don't know. You don't know me. Allah never ever left us. Allah never ever leaves us. So why are we so in doubt? Why are we so crazy? Why have we lost our mind? Don't you know you can never affect anybody if you don't understand you? People may come and listen, but they may not apply because they don't see how they can apply it in their lives because they don't believe in them so, themselves. They don't believe that a message is coming from their creator to them. That's how we've been beat down so much. Allah says in Quran, In the surah of cattle, I will do belay shaitan regime bismillah rahman rahim. Praise be to Allah who created the heavens and the earth and made the darkness and the light. Yet those who reject faith hold others as equal with their guardian Lord. He it is who created you from clay and then decreed a stated time for you, and there is in his presence another determined term. Yet ye doubt within yourselves. We doubt within ourselves. Don't you know that this is not the only transition we're going in? We came from a transition to transition here to transition out of here. And so Allah Almighty gives us, sends us understanding, which is a treasure for us to always be able to draw from that treasure. So what's our problem? If we had a tree, we had parents that were trillionaires, would you ever worry about money? I would never worry about money. They got me. All I got to do is do what I'm supposed to do, and they got me. They're going to give me more than I'm... Uh, that are more than my value. They're going to give me more than I'm worth. They're going to always pay me more than work that I've done. Money will not even be an issue. This situation in this world is crazy. The politicians don't even understand. You talk to a politician. I heard a politician say yesterday, yeah, you know what a politician is? A politician is someone who just goes after the money, just get, go for the money so they can use the money to do what they need with money does. Chasing Dunya. Not taking us to the highlight to return to our Lord Almighty in this light. Everyone is tracing, chasing Dunya. This is why the prophet said anyone who seeks a position don't give it to them. They're doing it only for their egos. They're only doing it to possess dunya. Why would Allah Almighty send us here to be lost? 